Well, we are about a $50 cab ride away from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Today, a fun matchup in the AFC East as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking on the New York Jets. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. Now he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45 yard line. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. A short throw there, that's to Smythe, the tight end. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. So Tua making the completion there. What's different about playing a left-handed quarterback like him? And specifically, I guess, what does this defense need to try and take away? I'll take the first part that you asked about being left-handed. We've got to find out if he can move to his right and still continue to be accurate. So I want to push him in that direction and see if he can get his body squared around and make those throws that he's used to making. The next part is he's a dart thrower. Love those short to intermediate routes first. Sit on those and make him throw the deep ball. Not that he's not capable, but you want him to prove it to you first. They'll run for the first time with Raheem Mostert. Try to run inside, but nothing there. Credit the tackle to John Franklin Myers. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold him to no gain. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. It's safe to say the passing game has found a rhythm. He's now 4-4, four four, but might need to be 5-5 five or five to keep this drive going here as they face a third down. And maybe perhaps you show a running play, right? Maybe a little play action here to go ahead and let him throw the ball downfield. I wouldn't get away from him flinging it because 4-4 four for four already, I think he's got a good chance of picking this one up here on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 40 yards. And the Dolphins will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, on paper coming in, you'd say that these guys are the better team by far, and they sort of showed their superiority there on the opening drive. Yeah, they came in the heavy favorite in this game, and even though they're on the road, they just still got just wiped it away, didn't they? They just said to everyone, we're the better team. We just showed it to you on this opening drive, and we expect to do it all game long. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The New York set to take the field. leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 23. Now the second year man back from injury. It's Bruce Hall. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 
They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Defensively, they were in the 3-4. Solid run up the middle. What made it successful? Well, what you have to do is control the nose guard, but sometimes you don't do it by blocking him. You do it by influencing him. Get him moving to one side or the other and hit him back on the opposite. On first down, right back to Hall. And a pretty good burst there as they get this across midfield and down to the 46. 16 more on that one and another first down. Absolutely no trouble moving the ball on the ground on the first two plays from scrimmage. Absolutely. You know what I really like? Same guy carrying the ball both plays. And what drives me crazy is when a back has a nice run, he taps his helmet to go out of the game. I would want the ball again and again and again because you've established really nice momentum. And now you're seeing the field really well. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second down and three. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. Steps away to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain, so when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. Open man here is Conklin. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. In today's NFL, we're accustomed to the tight end getting downfield and creating plays and wreaking a little havoc in the secondary. Not on this one, though. They diagnosed that one really well. Tried the dump off, lost yardage. On second down, a run with Hall. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Third down, now even tougher. Third and 13 after that loss of a yard. Pretty straightforward play there by the linebacker. He saw the run, went with straight ahead pursuit and dumped him behind the line of scrimmage. So first and second down went the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. From the shotgun, Wilson. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. That time, Bradley Chubb shooting in there for the sack. Oh, partner, you know what I'm going to say before I even say it. Yeah, you just cannot take a sack in that spot. You're exactly right. You can't take a sack in that spot. Potentially now, a three-point swing right there. Yeah, here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. Yeah, he was looking for the check on bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. So Miami coming out for their second drive. And yeah, they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did something with that. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. 16 yards and a Dolphin first down. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. That's Waddle. He's got the catch on the out route. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. That one good for 13 and a Dolphin first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. Yeah, the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams, there to bring him down. And we all know how talented this guy is. He's calling the signals for him. But even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. Looking to pass. Tua. 
He'll swing this out to Mostert. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. On third down, here comes Mostert. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So on fourth down, here's Jake Bailey to punt for the Dolphins. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. The Jets going to take over now late in this first half. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone. Could potentially tie this game up. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And the Dolphins rush gets home, down he goes. Jalen Ramsey with a sack on the corner blitz. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Throwing is Wilson. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. He juked him and shutting him off. Now open field. A nice little juke. So we've reached halftime here, and it's the visiting Dolphins taking a lead to the locker room as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. On the return is Xavier Gibson. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Here's the Jets' offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. As they begin their second half here, Charles, offensively, you know, not where they want to be, obviously. They're losing in this ball game, but very much within striking distance. We'll see what adjustments they make in the second half. Is that the old glass half full, half empty type of a deal? And which way do you want to look at it? Because you're right, they're down on the scoreboard. But there are definitely opportunities now because if they want to go ahead and get going in this one, get back to the running game. I think there are going to be some places to go with it, and I think the offensive line will appreciate the chance to fire out and hit people. That's a good point because they virtually had nothing going in the ground game in that first half. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Now it's Wilson. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Wilson. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. That's a gain of four. Brings up third and one. Third down and one. Now Wilson. He'll find Lazard here over the middle. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. 
Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And yeah, boy, showing how tough he can be to bring down, just fighting his way forward to pick up seven yards. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. You don't see that a ton, do you? Or the cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. And Lazard's got it again. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Three yards for Brees Hall. And the Jets have a chance to tie the ball game here in the final minute of the third. Well, it took them a little while, but they are on the board here in this third quarter now with a chance to tie this up. And it gives them a chance to exhale just a little bit, right? Because most of the time, if your first points come in the second half, you're often hopelessly out of the game, but not in this case. Now they have something to build on and a chance to mount a comeback. will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. That's to about the 28, second down coming up. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Second down, here's Mostert again. And he lost the football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And it's a big turnover there on the final play of the quarter. So it'll be a change of possession on the turnover when we get back. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Following the fumble recovery, it's Wilson. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. That's a gain of four as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. 
Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second and six. Now Wilson. Now he's flushed out left. Wilson smart to take off and run with it as he's able to pick up the first. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. Wilson. This is Lazard with a catch out left. And the Jets are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. Here's first and goal. Wilson. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Oh, man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Conklin, a five-yard touchdown. And the Jets have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. But there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Sirline connects on the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So Tua and the Dolphins down 14 to 7. 210 on the clock. Plenty of time here. They've got three timeouts and the two-minute warning as they've got it first and 10. First down, Tongue of Iloa. And he'll complete this one to Barrios. Now Tua. This is caught by Waddle. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Nice, well coached, a team that understands what's going on. They still have time to work the middle of the field as they just did there. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. Here's Tua. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. Oh, I know it goes against the grain here. It totally goes against it, but you've got to drop the ball in that situation. He makes a catch, but he loses yards and doesn't get out of bounds. They'll come up now on second down. Throwing to a... Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 
This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there, and for the offense, they're hoping that that's something they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. Tua. This one thrown underneath to Achan. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. Here's second down and three. Two and a throw. Got a man and he hits him in stride. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Here we go, first and goal. Tug of Iloa. The quick slant caught. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. Two are going to try and go quickly here. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. Now Tua, under pressure now, and he's going to go down just inside the five-yard line. John Franklin Myers, the one in there to drop him. Well, it came down to the final play in such a close ball game. What a game it was, but they can't get that last throw off. Good job by that defense to get in there for the sack to seal it. And for fans watching the game, a little bit anticlimactic, don't you think, partner? Not even able to get off one last throw to see how it would have turned out. Instead, pass rush got to him and ended it that way. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew.